Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I already watched this beginning in this intro and how I act. It's gonna be really weird, but that's fine. So for today's video, I decided I'm gonna do an everyday makeup tutorial for oily skin. I have oily skin, and it's just kind of what I do when I go to school. If because you know when I wear makeup to school, I don't wear makeup every single day, but when I feel myself. But that's all. So I'm not doing a long intro. So let's get right into it. So I already have clean skin, and I'm just going with some of this Tarte Maracuja oil, or I already went in with it. But, you know, I'm going to pep it into my skin like a bad bitch, you know. we got to make sure that coat is flawless AF. And now I'm going with the Makeup Forever Step 1 Mattifying Primer. It is such a good primer if you want to be matte. And then I also go in with some airspun powder or whatever powder you have. And I kind of just put that right under my eyes and wherever I get oily. Because this will also give you, like, an extra layer of poreless, you can say. And it also keeps, and also mattifies, it, per, it it makes it longer, longer lasting for oil to so not come through your face. Now I go in with my Lancome Tint and Dull Ultra Wear 24 Hour Foundation. As you see, it says SPF 15 and I know it's 24 hours because I saw the box. And this stuff is so good, it is so hard to take off. I know for a fact it's, it's a really good foundation and I definitely recommend it. I do kind of have to take maybe three, four pumps for my whole face, but that's cool. I don't care that much. Now I'm going with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in 2.5 as Sunel and a little bit of LA Girl Pro Concealer in Porcelain. And these two I didn't just put in my areas where you're supposed to do your concealer in my highlighting areas. It just really brings out, you know, the bad bitch. Now I'm just going to set that with the same powder because, you know, why not? And then I'm also going to use for the rest of my face this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in 004. Sandstorm, I think. I was going to get translucent, but then I ended up just picking up the wrong one. But this is cute anyway, you know? And for bronzer, I'm going to use this Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. It is literally my favorite bronzer. It, oh my gosh, it is so good. And I have light bronze as well. I'm going with my M500 brush from Morphe, and I'm also just going to take some of the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in Rosewood, and I'm just going to take the teensiest bit of it because it's really, it's a really pigments and shade, and I don't want it to be too, like, you know? So now I'm just going in with baking, and I'm going to leave this on for about a good five minutes, and I'll come back right after. Well, I'm going to be back. So yeah, I'm back. Um... Like it was ever gone but now as you see i'm kind of pressing the powder into my skin when i'm wiping away but also dusting away and now it's time for highlighter and as you know i got this amrezy anastasia highlighter and all you bitches know this shit is glitter af like i just think it's so crazy like i love anastasia highlighters they're probably like the best highlighters out there i'm using a um 501 brush as well just you know for your information but this highlighter like y'all just see this like it is just so blinding like I don't know how they do it and I'm gonna take a little bit on my nose for that boom thing and down this nose bridge correct and on my inner corner because we are popping and right on my brow bone and I'm gonna connect the brow bone highlight to my cheek highlight so it looks more quote-unquote natural even though we not natural so now I'm taking this wink ass lash curler that I literally don't know where I got this from but that's cool and then I'm also taking this Estee Lauder mascara a little travel size I don't really know where I got it from well I do know where I got it from it was in my aunt's makeup bag and I kind of just took them and yeah this is kind of the finished look or whatever it's cute it's so simple or whatever and stuff like that oh what did I forget? Oh, okay, I remember. So now I just kind of take this lip scrub from Lush. And I don't really know what this is. I don't know the flavor. It's whatever's on the bottle. It's my sister's. And I just take some lip balm. This is the EOS lip balm. Oh, whatever. And this is kind of the finished look. So, here we go. This is, oh, hold the fuck up. Actually, hold the phone. This is the finished look for some people. But for me, I'm extra as fuck. Right, so I got this milk makeup little stamp thing. It's the star one. So I'm going to put this on. I think this is so cute. Oh my god, right, I'm switching up. Sorry, so this is the Wet n Wild Press and Pink Blush. I put this with the 301 highlighting brush. I forgot to put this in the video, but I, whatever, it's here. So that's what I do. I think it's really cute. Just a little bit. And okay, 
now we're putting the fucking stars on, Jesus Christ. So now we're putting the stars on, and it's just, like, so extra, but I like it. And I'm looking down because I'm trying to make sure, like, the stars are, like, the same on the top and the bottom. Like, look how fucking cute I am. Shit. Ooh. Yes, bitch. Get those poses. Get those poses. So this is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. You already know the drill. Shit, here. I'm just gonna let you take a moment of me. Dang. Oh. Okay, this is when I turned off. I was literally about to finish the video. And then I turned off my light and I saw this pink light on. So I was just like, bitch, dang, I look cute. So there's a little bit of that. But anyway, this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much. Oh my gosh, you're going to be ugly. But yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.